Hey guys, here are Sue, and today I will be showing y'all Lego Black Iron Man Mark 50 Hall of Armors. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just 6 to 12, and this is set 1169A, comes with 126 pieces, and here it says it comes with Mark 50, and here it says that it can combine with all of the other all of armor. So, yeah, uh, the box art itself, it does look really nice with the Mark 50 at the front, you have uh, the armor piece right here you have string on heroes assemble this is the top of the box this is the side which shows you the Iron Man figure just by himself this is the other side this is the bottom and finally this is the back it shows you the entire set and all of the armors that's included and there are a total of eight of them so yeah Aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So there are two instruction manuals that's included for this set. So uh, this one, it shows you how to build the Hall of Armor. And yeah, this one, it shows you how to build the Iron Man Mark 50 and also the jetpack, I guess. So yeah. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So this is the Iron Man Mark 50 itself right here. And as you can see, it comes with quite a lot of accessories. So let's take off all of them and we'll take a look at them later. So let's take a look at the figure just by itself. For the figure itself, let's start with the helmet. So the helmet here, it does look really nice. On top here, you have the black lining and you have the eyes right here, which look really, really nice with the texture right there and the blue and white gradient. It looks really nice and the gold on this uh, face mask right here it's also very nicely saturated which is definitely nice and obviously you can open up the helmet and under there it reveals Tony Stark's uh, heads up display face the heads up display face here it looks really nice as well I think Shingo did a great job on it and you have this kind of blue tint on his face and yeah um, and this is his alternate expression without the heads up display for the torso printing itself, in the middle of his chest, you have the arc reactor and you have this kind of triangular line right there, which is a very nice touch. And yeah, you have uh, all of the gold and silver detailing, you have uh, the rest of the armor detailing. For the legs, it looks really nice as well. And this is the back torso printing. It looks really nice as well. You have the little blue detailing right there and yeah. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Iron Man Mark 50 figure. So let's take a look at the accessories. So the first piece of accessories that we're going to look at is the chest plate. So this is nothing new. It's quite old actually. It's a very nice looking mold. And yeah, most of the detailing, it comes from the molding. But you have this one bit of detailing on the chest right here in the middle. You have this arc character with the blue circle right there. And you have uh, some armor detailing. And at the back, you have uh, some more detailing. But uh, aside from that, that's pretty much it for this chest plate piece. So these are the rest of the accessories for Iron Man, which includes the jetpack build and also the power burst pieces. So the power burst pieces here, there are two of this one, which is this kind of uh, small blast piece, I guess. And yeah, it's held on his hand. And the other one is on his hand, obviously. And this one, you have this transparent piece on one end and this blast piece on the other end. Uh, and you have this uh, kind of long blast top thing which has this spiral design on it so yeah and this one which is held on his hand this one is almost the same but it has uh, this bigger blast at the end so yeah for the jetpack build itself this right here this is printing this is not sticker detailing which is definitely really nice of uh, Shingyuan and the print here it does look really nice and the gold it does shine and there are four of them and the jetpack uh, at the back you know you have uh, the power burst pieces there are four of them you can adjust these individually so yeah that's definitely very nice and this thing it's clipped onto the attachment piece with uh, four attachment points at the back so yeah 
Aside from that, that's pretty much it for all of the accessories for Iron Man. So this is the Hall of Armor containment unit itself right here. So let's start with the top. So the top you have this printed piece right here which says Heroes Assemble and you have the Shenya logo right there. And the Heroes Assemble is in this kind of red color which does look really nice. I really like it. And this printed piece right here is the only thing that's different between this version of the Hall of Armor and also the previous version of the Hall of Armor that was made by Shingyon and uh, it was released around four years ago. So yeah, there's that and at the bottom you have these one by one translucent blue pieces which make up this design which look really nice especially when light shines through. It looks really cool. And you have these cheese slope pieces right here which kind of make this curve kind of shape which is nice and at the back you have these uh, modified brick pieces with the grill design on them and at the bottom here you have this one by two uh, translucent blue piece and you have these two studs right here which is where you place in your Iron Man main figure and you have this uh, one by two grill piece right here and on each side you have this cheese slope in translucent blue and at the side, you also have this uh, same modified brick piece with the grill design. It's on both sides and at the back, you have uh, the design right here which look really nice at the back as well. So yeah, that's definitely really cool. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Hall of Armor containment unit. Lastly, you also have these two hinge pieces which are for connecting with other Hall of Armor containment units if you buy more than one. So that's uh, definitely really nice. And if you aren't planning to combine uh, the containment units, then you can use it for other purposes, which is definitely really nice. And this is how it looks like when the Hall of Armors have been combined. So origin of this set here, so how do you think of it? For the minifigure itself, I think the minifigure here is great. I think Shion did a great job on it and it looks really nice and the quality of it, it's really good. And I also like that they have printed this piece instead of including stickers, that's definitely really nice. The armor piece, it's cool as well. And the power burst pieces, they are pretty good quality as well. And for the Hall of Armor containment unit, I think it's great. I like the design of it, it's not that bad, but there are other better Hall of Armor designs out there, but this is pretty good. And if you have missed out on the previous version, then you can get it now. It's definitely really nice for the people who have missed out on the previous version. But if you don't want the Hall of Armor containment unit, but you just want the main figures uh, with uh, the jetpack builds, then I think you should get this set right here as an alternative because it has the same sets of minifigures with uh, all of the power burst pieces and the jetpack build, you know, you have everything. And yeah, the only thing different about that is uh, you don't have this armor piece. So yeah, it really depends on you uh, if you want the Hall of Armor containment unit or not. So yeah, and the Hall of Armor containment unit, it will be a very nice addition to your Iron Man collection because you can put your Iron Man figure inside and if you buy multiples of these, it, you can combine them together and they'll look really nice in your Iron Man collection. So yeah. If you like it, I definitely recommend you getting it, but if you don't want the Hall of Armor containment unit, you should get this set instead. So, I'll put a uh, buy links for this set here down in the description box below if you want to buy it, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.